Hello everyone, this is JP from JP Active. I'm here with another lovely client, um, Penny, who came to me five weeks ago. I'm going to let Penny describe the things that were happening with her back then. Penny. I had, I came because of bad hip, which was sending pain down my right leg and I couldn't sleep at night. I also had an extremely sore foot that had been bad for 18 months after a walking trip to Melbourne where I walked my feet off and it never really recovered. Mm -hmm. And I also had bad shoulders, but I didn't know you found those. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't aware of them, All so right. it was a hip mania. Okay. Yeah. So what I tended to do then was, I, I work from a myofascial perspective, so what we looked at was you as, as a whole living human being rather than just as bits of human body. Um, and identified a few things that were going on with your body, and then we set about working on those. Um, used a combination of hands-on work, um, mobilizer movements, foam roller, and of course, power plate here as well, vibration platform. So, five weeks down the track, you've seen me twice a week, four yeah. or five weeks, so we've had 10, ten sessions. Yeah. Um, tell me about your experience of those five weeks and also where you feel you've got to at this stage. Okay, well, when I, the first day I came, it was very emotional but extremely um, comforting to find, to, to express to somebody about what I was trying to do with positive thinking and positive reinforcement and had to meet someone who actually said, yes, I think the same way, watch this video. That was very comforting because I felt at home straight away. Mm -hmm. And it sounds kooky to a lot of people, but actually it really worked. Mm. And then you sorted my foot out that first session. You just said, golf ball, sole of your foot, roll it around, and you'll find it works. Having made me suffer putting me on the couch and putting your thumb in there, yeah. but my foot is fixed and I can move my toes, which is great. And I'm not in pain. And I even wore high heels. The weekend. Yeah, we don't talk about that. No, do we? no, not very often. I only put them on occasionally, and then I go home and I roll my foot on the <laughs> So that first that first session, I went out with my foot right and more flexibility than I've had in my legs for years because I could go down a long way crouching. Um, and then going forward, things just improved session on session until we, have, we hit that emotional glitch in the road when mum was so poorly and a friend died, all within 24 hours of each other. And that was kind of a hiccup and I went backwards, not surprisingly really. But the whole journey has made me realise how much our emotional state is linked to our physical well-being, mm -hmm. which I knew, sort of theoretically. But having been through this process, I know it from experience. So I sit here and I say, you said to me this afternoon, how are you? What are you thinking? And I just thought, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. That's fantastic. I think the really cool thing that you've just talked about there is the emotional effect of, of what's going on with us mm -hmm. on the physical. Um, and there's this great saying, train the human being, not the human body, or treat the human being, not the human body. Mm -hmm. And that's obviously what we try to do here. Yeah. Um, and, and to have described that to you and then, you know, coincidentally, you to have gone through a significantly emotional time during that and seeing the effects of that, that's hugely interesting, as well as quite uplifting as to what you can then do with a little bit of feeding the body some, some intelligent information that helps. Well, if you think about those things, those big psychological things that happened, they're only two weeks ago, and I really did go down into a trough and yet I can, I've worked through both of them and I can't say I'm not sad about some aspects of it, but I'm comfortable mm. with where I'm at. And, I'm, and even though on one part of me is sad because we've lost a dear friend and my mother's still ill and isn't going to get any better, I can still compartmentalise that now and say yes, but it's okay to feel like that about those particular things, but it doesn't mean that it has to infect the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And it can be kind of contained, and I can still be happy 
and contend while well, that is there. I've acknowledged it and it's there, but it's not everything anymore and it's not taking over my internal landscape like it used to, so I'm controlling. I guess I'm controlling the negative things. And are you saying that these sessions have contributed to you working that out? I think so. Yeah. I think so, because you're very positive to work with. And I've adopted your um, journaling. I didn't journal before, but actually writing things down, it's even more concrete than going through the process of saying, I'm grateful today for this and this and this. If you write it down, because you're having to con concentrate on what you're doing, it reinforces the feeling of gratitude. Mm -hmm. And I go to bed at night completely peaceful. Even if I'm a bit sore, <laughs> I'm still peaceful. Yeah. If I've overdone sitting on the tennis ball yeah. or something. Yeah. So I'm sure, I'm sure in myself that the whole package of dealing not just with the body, but with the spirit as well, is necessary and helpful. Fantastic. Where do we find you today? Because the, the really great little snippet from today's session was that you were on here doing some massage work and I said, what are you thinking? And one of the things you said was, I can't believe how far we've come mm. in five weeks. Mm. So how far have you come in terms of, you know, let's talk about the physical. Where, whereabouts are we with that? Because you came to me with multiple things going on and also, you know, a number of, of things in your medical history as well, a whole range of things in your medical history which all fed that whole thing. Where are we today with you? My foot's, it's still sore when I stand, stand on the golf ball, but I would expect it to be because I've got this bunion which is always going to push my toe sideways. Mm. And that's a physiological thing that you can't get away from. But if I keep doing it, the situation is not painful during the day. Mm -hmm. The only time it hurts is when I stand on the golf ball. And, and I'm happy to do that. Yeah. Um, I feel as though I'm standing taller. I feel as though I'm walking straighter. My hip doesn't hurt during the day. It doesn't hurt when I'm sitting down. Sometimes it gives me some jip at night mm -hmm. still. But I think part of that is that I've overworked it in, in a zeal of enthusiasm to get better. A bit of self-treatment and yes. overload. Overwork yeah. of the joint, possibly, and maybe I've aggravated my sciatic nerves, possibly. Um, but I, I'm just, well, you can see, but mm. they don't know that. Yeah. You can see how much cheerful, more cheerful I am yeah. and positive. Well, I'm yeah. well. I'm completely, in a holistic sense, well. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. And it's been a pleasure helping you, Thank I must you. say. Great future ahead for you. Yes. Um, and I'm going to be there intermittently to help you along the way. Thank you, I'm glad. And thanks for sharing your little story with everyone out there. That's okay. <laughs> thanks all. I hope that's been of interest to you. And I'll be in touch again soon, no doubt. Thanks.